right, so what the hell is an associate's degree and is it even worth getting? Because an associate's degree in like the academic world, it just doesn't get enough attention, doesn't get enough love. You have your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, PhDs, I get all the talk, but what the hell is an associate's degree? So let's break that down today while I make a protein shake in the meantime. But yeah, let's go over what the hell it is. So an associate's degree, it gets absolutely no love, but it could be pretty useful in some cases. So let's just quickly go over what it means to get an associate's degree, what are the requirements. So just to quickly like go over that so we have more time to go over whether it's impactful to get an associate's degree. So just to quickly go over the requirements, it's 60 units. Usually that takes two years. It's where you take 15 units per semester, so that takes about two years. But you could probably do that in like one and a half if you take summer or like winter session classes. So there's a way to speed through your associate's degree. Also for an associate's degree, usually you pick like a concentration, basically like you're a major, like a bachelor's degree. So the, whether that's business, computer science, art history, etc., you get the point. So you're gonna pick a concentration, and within that concentration, they're gonna have different requirements. So you have to hit those requirements to actually fulfill and get your associate's degree. All right, now that that's out of the way of what you have to do to get your associate's degree, is it actually impactful to get your associate's degree? So when people go to college, they want to get a good job, whether that's a blue collar job. So that's blue collar jobs are like your firefighters, your policemen, anything that takes physical labor. And then you have your white collar jobs. So that's a job where you're getting paid for your brains. So think about like nursing, a doctor, if you go into business, finance, like accounting, stuff like that, where you have to study something to get into that field. So whether an associate's degree is good, you really have to like identify like what field you want to get into. That's really important because for any white collar job, like your finance, your doctors, your lawyers, you're gonna have to have a bachelor's degree mainly. Before, you could probably get by with only having your associate's degree or not even having a degree in the first place to get into a white collar job, but nowadays it's so, so competitive to getting a white collar job that you almost have to have a bachelor's degree. And there's a few cases of people being able to slip through the cracks, being able to get a white collar job with only an associate's degree, but those cases are very rare because most job postings are gonna require that you have a bachelor's degree. And it's also important to note that most community colleges, they don't offer a bachelor's degree. They only offer an associate's degree. So the difference between like an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree, it really depends on if you're going to university or community college. So if you go to community college and you get and you go down the route of getting your associate's degree, those two years of your schooling of getting your associate's degree will count towards getting your bachelor's degree. So bachelor's degree is four years. Um, so once you're finally done with community college after two years, you can transfer to university and start working on your bachelor's degree. So for myself, I did that and I took two and a half years to get my bachelor's when I finally transferred. I did one year of community college and then one year of university when I finally decided I don't didn't want to go to that school anymore. And for myself personally, getting my associate's degree was actually pretty important and in landing internships because it gave me some like credibility. It gave me a degree while I was still in school trying to get my bachelor's degree. There's a lot of people when they're interviewing me, they'd be pretty surprised that I have my associate's degree. And what I studied in my bachelor's has nothing to do with business or finance. So having that associate's degree in finance gave me a lot of credibility in these interviews to be like, yeah, I have a business background. I took business classes. So for myself, it was actually pretty helpful to get my associate's degree. But yeah, a lot of my YouTube shorts, the people I'm interviewing at these community colleges, they don't even want to get their bachelor's degree. They're there to get their associate's degree or some type of training to get into a blue collar job and these blue collar jobs, they're not really talked about in high schools enough, but they're pretty high paying. So a lot of these blue collar jobs, they're, you can make a good living off of them. You don't need to get... Um, well, I spilled my entire protein shake, but...
I guess we'll just make another one. Okay, let's just make another protein shake. But what was I saying? Yeah, a lot of these blue collar jobs, though, they're pretty good. They're wall pain, can make a great living off of them, and they're just not talked about enough in high school. So really try to decide like early on whether an associate's degree is gonna be better for you or a bachelor's degree is gonna be better for you because both are pretty useful. Okay, now it's kind of mixed up now. Not bad, not bad. But there you go, an associate's degree, it can be very impactful depending on what job you want. It could also be pretty useless if you want to go into like a white collar job because you have to get your bachelor's degree. But yeah, there you go. I hope you guys know what an associate's degree is now because when I was in community college, I definitely did not know what the hell it was. But yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.